Welcome to the L. Regnum channel. In this video let us talk about the true meaning of the beast which was seen by John as Christ revealed it to him what come to pass hereafter. A beast of seven heads and ten horns that rise up out of the sea. But before we proceed, if you are new to this channel, Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be more updated of the more videos to come, and learn about the fulfilled prophecies of God. Be reminded that all the interpretations of the prophecies being presented to you were given by the one who founded the kingdom of God in the New Jerusalem no other than His Majesty Supreme King Philemon Andok Rinbonanza, who founded the Kingdom of God on July 27, 1982 at the house of Dr. Jose Protasio Rizal in the Shrine City of Dapitan, Zamboanga del Norte, Philippines. He is the Divine Mentor and the source of this wisdom. Now let us begin. To simply fully understand the true meaning of the beast, we must need to look back with the true meaning of the beast seen by Prophet Daniel. That the beast meant a kingdom, and the horn meant a king. So the beast in revelation of Christ to Saint John which foreshadowed the kingdom of God, is a nation having seven heads and ten horns. So speaking of the beast is used in the prophetic words found in the Holy Scripture, is not a literal beast since it is only a parable to represent a kingdom in a certain nation. The beasts seen by Daniel were represented by the kingdom of Medo-Persia, Greece, and Rome. Thus in same manner, the beast which was seen by Saint John as a nation having seven heads and ten horns. The prophetic vision runs as follows. And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. Revelation chapter 13 verse 1. Let us deal with this prophetic parable step by step and one by one in order for us to get a vivid understanding. The beast in this prophecy is a nation. So what nation would it be? This is the only one nation in the entire world whom Jesus Christ was mentioning about when he did take the kingdom of God out from the people of Jerusalem in Israel long time ago. Since Jesus Christ was a rejected king in Israel, so he took the kingdom of God from Jerusalem and gave it to a certain nation, when he said, Did ye never read in the scriptures, the stone which the builders rejected, the same has become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore say I unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to a nation bringing forth the fruits thereof. Matthew chapter 21 verse 42 to 43. It is very clear to mention that the kingdom of God is given to a nation and no one can deny this fact because Christ had said it. Since Jesus did not specifically mention the name of that nation, the kingdom of God became hidden in one of the nations in this planet Earth. In due time, God will send a witness and a chosen one who shall reveal the hidden things of God and all his mysteries. It was done according to the plan of God, because Supreme King Philemon Andok Rimbonanza had made revelation for all these through his exegesis of the Bible. So he testified that this nation is the Philippines that was bearing the fruits of Christian beliefs starting on April 14, 1521. Two years after, 
In 1523 God gave his kingdom to the Philippines and was founded in the year 1982 which was in accordance to the appointed time of God. So the true meaning of the beast seen by John is the Philippines. So how the Philippines did rise up out of the sea? History tells that in the beginning of time Philippines as an archipelago was covered by a thick ice and called it a land bridge. When the ice was fully melted due to a gradual increase of temperature, all the islands appeared. The ten horns are the ten presidents of the Philippines in which the seven were elected being the seven heads. These were Manuel L. Quezon, Manuel A. Rojas, Elpidio R. Quirino, Ramon F. Magsaysay, Carlos P. Garcia, Diosdado P. Macapagal Sr., and Ferdinand E. Marcos Sr. Dot. The three appointed presidents were Emilio Aguinaldo, Jose P. Laurel, and Sergio Osmania Sr. It was said in the prophetic parable that upon his head's the name of blasphemy. What does it exactly mean? In the Philippines, during presidential election campaign, it was widely known and became customary that blasphemy is used to politically degrade the image of the presidential candidate. This parable is intended for the Philippines because this is the secret land of Jacob where God is to be glorified.